That was 17 potatoes from one plant. Hey friends, it's Kelsey here from Seed and Sparrow Homestead and today is one of my favorite days in the garden. Today we get to dig up potatoes and it's seriously like a treasure hunt. So why don't you come out with me to the garden and let's see what we can find. We're outside in the garden and I just wanted to show you where I have harvested potatoes already this year and what we're gonna be harvesting today. All right, and hopefully you can hear me over the noisy road, but let's go check out what we've already harvested. So here in this bed here and this one here, I had early variety potatoes that I've already dug up. So that's why those two beds are empty currently. I need to amend them and get some more things planted. But the potato beds we're gonna be working on today, I've got one four by four bed here. And I think I just have three or four seed potatoes planted over in that corner. So we're gonna work on those two right now. Okay, so I had those two big long beds planted and then the two smaller beds here. I also have two big rows in ground that I tried this year. It was the first year that I have done in ground potato planting. I've always done it in raised beds, either raised beds or in grow bags. The grow bags just haven't worked out that great for me. Um, I tried two more this year and I had a really poor harvest. So I think I'm sticking to most likely raised bed planting with potatoes possibly in ground. guys on to the potato harvesting so in this video you're gonna see that I'm not using tools and you'll be like Kelsey why aren't you just using tools it's so much easier I tend to mutilate my potatoes if I use tools so I just get in there with my hands and get out everything that I can and then I'll go back in after the majority of the potatoes are out of the soil and uh, I'll use a spade and a fork then just to make sure that I got everything out because I'm sure if you've grown potatoes before, you know that they can be difficult to find, um, especially if those roots go down deep and uh, you'll have potatoes popping up all over the garden. So the potato that you see me harvesting right here is actually the original seed potato that I planted back in the spring. And I just think it's awesome that you can plant one potato and gain pounds of potatoes from that one seed potato. And they are honestly the crop that just keeps on giving. All you have to do is save some of your potatoes for next planting season and you get more. They are so versatile in the kitchen, they're so great in storage, definitely a staple in my garden. Now you'll see here, like with this potato, I am getting some that are a decent size, but you'll notice a lot on the smaller side. I could have let these plants go longer. As you can see here, there's still a lot of green on the plants. Typically you'd wanna wait until they're completely yellowed and they have died back. But I was getting hammered with um, potato bugs and Japanese beetles and they were just eating everything. And um, I also found some grubs in the soil that started to eat through some of the potatoes. So 
I went ahead and I harvested everything, which is fine. Um, we're still gonna eat them no matter what size they are, but if I would have let them go a little longer, I would have had more big potatoes. Another factor when it comes to when you should be harvesting your potatoes would be whether or not you planted early, mid, or late season varieties. I have a mixture. The early varieties I had already harvested, but in this video, most of these are mid season varieties. So with the earlier ones, they're gonna be on the smaller side and have thinner skin, so they're not great for storage. They would be best for fresh eating or if you're preserving them in some way, that's fine. But if you're looking for storage potatoes, ones that you can just cure and have sitting in a sack or a box or something in a cold area, then you wanna go with your late season varieties. Here you can see everything that was harvested from this one 4x4 bed. That was 17 potatoes from one plant. So maybe you have noticed that I am pulling a lot of potatoes off of these three plants in this one bed. And I believe the reasoning behind this is this bed was one of the original ones from my very first garden almost five years ago. And I am a huge advocate for building up your soil. I am all about adding compost and organic matter. And if you were to put your hands in this bed, it is loose and rich. You can see it just teeming with life. And I truly believe that is why these potatoes just thrived in this bed. There are a whole bunch of ways that you can plant potatoes. I don't believe that there is one method that will work the best for everyone across the board. It really is just gonna depend. You have to try and see what works for you in your space. Everyone's garden is different. We all have our own climates and even microclimates. We have different little ecosystems and environmental factors. 
maybe our soil health isn't the same. So we're not all going to have the same results from the same methods of growing. And you just have to try and see what works for you in your space. Like I said earlier in the video, I had potatoes planted in ground, in raised beds, and in grow bags. The in-ground plot you see here was um, a new space and it did pretty well. It was my first year growing in ground and I would say I would do it again. I do want to focus on building up the soil quality and I think I'll see an even better harvest next year. My raised beds did great, but like I said, they've been established for a while, um, but they really, really gave me a good harvest this year. The grow bags, I think I'm done with them. They, um, this is my third year doing them and I just keep trying and every year I'm really disappointed with the harvest. So I'm just gonna focus on what I know works well for me. And next year I'd like to try the Ruth Stout method where you basically just put potatoes on prepared soil and cover them with hay and they grow directly in the hay. So I'm interested to see how that will work out here for me. Okay, so as I wrap up this harvesting video here, I thought I should let you know what exactly I planted. So on April the 24th, I planted 10 pounds of red Pontiac, five pounds of Yukon Gold, five pounds of Superior, I think that's just a white variety, and three pounds of Adirondack Blue. So keep that in mind. That's about 25 pounds of potatoes. Here is the harvest from those two in-ground rows. And then um, I just put them all in a wagon and let them dry off in the sun. All right, so we're back outside. I've had the potatoes um, just drying in the sun. They were pretty wet, pretty dirty. So hopefully we can just brush off the dirt now. I've got my garden helper here. So um, I'm gonna brush off the dirt and we are going to transfer them to five gallon buckets. And then we're gonna weigh them and see how much we got. Okay, so I have all of my potatoes I harvested in five gallon buckets and I'm gonna weigh them, see how much we actually got. So this one here is from one of the in-ground rows that I had planted. So that's 31.8 pounds in that bucket. And then smaller bucket is also from that same, those same two rows. So 14.6 there. Okay, and then I've got this bucket here that is from the 4x4 four four bed. It doesn't seem to want to settle on a weight. 18.8 pounds from that 4x4 four four bed. And then the last one here are from the uh, three potato plants in that one bed. So 12.8 pounds, not too shabby. Okay, so about 80 pounds. I'm just gonna round up and say 80 pounds because I took some out for dinner. Um, so 80 pounds from what I harvested with you on camera and then from the two four by eight beds that I harvested from previously, I got 70 pounds out of those two beds. Um, so it's 150 pounds already this year and I'm not done with my potato planting. I have plans to go out and plant some more tomorrow um, and get a second harvest. It'll probably be smaller, but it's still gonna be a harvest. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this harvest video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.